Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here. Today I want to talk a little bit about fat shots. Now by fat shots I mean when the club's coming in and it's hitting the ground before it gets to the golf ball. The reason that's a problem for golfers is that a lot of the club head speed is then being put into the ground before it gets to the golf ball. And then second of all, you get a lot of grass and dirt caught between the club face and the ball and it compromises how much speed you can get and also how much control you can get over the golf ball. So I want to talk about a couple of the common ways that players tend to hit fat shots. And I'm going to show you a simple drill which will help you improve this part of your game if, if hitting the ball, hitting the ground before the ball is something that you struggle with. So if hitting fat shots is something that you struggle with, there's a couple of things I'd want you to check before you started doing anything. And the first thing would be to check your ball position. A lot of the time I'll see players who tend to hit the ground before they hit the ball, gets the ball too far forward in their stance and then they just can't get the club left enough to be able to make good contact. The other thing I see is that players when they swing will transfer their weight to their rear leg which is not a bad thing to do except that they then keep it there when they swing down so now the club's bottoming out or hitting the ground before it gets to the golf ball. Remember that our goal in a golf shot is we want the club to hit the ball first and then the turf. So we want the bottom of the swing arc to be more on this side of the golf ball. When you're hitting it heavy or fat, that means the bottom of the swing arc is too much on the, on the trail side of the ball. So check your ball position and where your weight is at impact would be the first two things I'd check. And then the drills that you want to work on to help you through this, I'd get you to address level with where the golf ball is. And all I want you to do is just make really short swings. And the goal is to clip the ground on the target side of the golf ball. Now the only way you're going to do that is if you move your weight correctly and the handle leads the club head. If you're back here, that's not going to work. If you're throwing the club head too early, it's not going to work. So you've really got to make sure from here, get to the left and get that club to bottom out more on the left side. Now I'd get a player to do that. I'd want you to be hitting the ground on this side five times in a row before I'd even think about putting a golf ball in there. If you can do five in a row, then I'd grab a golf ball. And the goal with hitting the golf ball now is again to hit the ground on this side. And the image that I like to give players when they're doing that is to have the feeling like they're trying to hit the ball low. Because if I'm thinking about hitting it low, I'm going to do more of this, which is going to move the divot left because my weight's more left. Versus if I was thinking about hitting it high, I'd probably tend to be a little more this way, which is not where I want to be. So I talk to players about, okay, we're just going to have a short swing, move and we're trying to hit ball then turf with the image of trying to hit it low. I do this drill with about a seven iron because I want to get the ball low but I don't want to get it too low and then I would start off with some short swings. So I do practice swings where I want to hit the ground on this side. I want to do five of them in a row then one golf ball. Five practice, one ball. If the player can do that well you know then we're going to step it up and go to more like a half swing if the half swing's going well, we'll go to three quarters. If the three quarters going good, then by all means we're going to go to full swing. But that progression is going to take time. So it takes time for you to make the change. You need to do several repetitions at, at each level. And if it's not working, drop back to the shorter level. So if you're up to three quarter swings and you're struggling, you shouldn't be there. You need to be back at that half swing, spending more time hitting balls at that, hitting the low shot, getting the divot more left, before you then progress to the three quarter swing again. So if you work through that progression that we talked about, you will definitely be able to solve that fat shot issue that you might have at the moment. You're going to hit the ball far more solid and compress it and control the ball a lot better. You might even add a couple of yards to your game as well.